Deplorable conditions, residents ripped off, and it's all for money, according to police. Metro investigators say more and more they are discovering unlicensed group homes. Yeah, and they describe them, Brian, as houses with multiple senior citizens and people with disabilities in unsafe living conditions. The I team's Vanessa Murphy takes a closer look at one case and the challenge police have to try to address the problem. Police describe an 82 year old dying man on a hospital bed with his oxygen tank nearby in a corner of a kitchen. According to this arrest report, he was on outpatient hospice care. He said he paid $600 a month for what was supposed to be his own room in this house in East Las Vegas. In court documents, an investigator calls the home horrific and unsanitary. Police say 12 dogs lived there, along with at least seven other people including Calvin Leslie. He's accused of running the unlicensed group home and ripping off the dying man and another senior suffering from dementia. Police say Leslie put utility bills in his name and stole Social Security money from both men by keeping and using their debit cards. Metro Sergeant James Johnson says an alleged scheme like this one is all too common. As soon as the unit was created in 2019, we had our first unlicensed group home in January. So right out the gate, we were like, oh, this could be a problem. Sergeant Johnson is on the elder abuse unit, which Lieutenant David Valenta oversees. They report finding 36 unlicensed group homes over the past two years. Uh, it's almost disbelief that people can do this to each other, that you can take the most vulnerable and actually exploit them the way they are. Police say oftentimes unlicensed group home operators promise food, shelter and medical care, but instead supply a crowded home with dirty and unsafe living conditions. Court records obtained by the I-team reveal Leslie is a felon with a lengthy criminal history in several states who had no license to run a group home or provide medical care. Leslie was arrested and faces charges related to elder abuse and neglect, exploitation and theft. But according to investigators, there is no law in Nevada to prosecute someone specifically for running an unlicensed group home. They'd like to change that. So we're looking to see the best resources, best uh, solutions we can put together so we can put uh, forward the best legislative bill we can. Metro is partnering with other agencies, including Las Vegas Fire and Rescue. And so the collaborative effort that should have been going on years ago, if not decades ago, is really coming together now. Assistant Chief John Stevenson says his team also provides support to victims, for example, by trying to find them new homes. The demand is this high, but the resources to deal with it is this high. While investigators say they're targeting unlicensed group homes, most group homes are licensed and have rules and regulations to follow. We put a link where you can verify whether a home is legitimate at 8newsnow.com. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Now, the I-team also did two additional reports on the issue earlier today. They dug deeper into police investigations and showed us how Adult Protective Services is really trying to address this problem. You can find those reports at 8newsnow.com.